Hey everybody and welcome. Today's dining destination brings us here to Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, where we're getting ready to take you along with us to... Harpoon Harry's. This is really cool here. I've seen this somewhere before, but this is the parkway right here going into Gatlinburg. And right over here is where the spur is located going into Gatlinburg. But this is the way it looked like years ago. It's hard to believe. Here are the Gator Bites. We're really excited about these Gator Bites. We've had Gator Bites at many different restaurants before, and we enjoy how everybody kind of has their own twist on Gator Bites. Of course, Gator still tastes the same, but the batter's different, their sauce is different. We're very excited to see what this is like. Okay, I'm gonna try a Gator Bite without the sauce first. And they just came out of the fryer, so they're piping hot. It's really tender and the batter is really light and crispy with like a peppery bite and it's really really tasty, not fishy at all. And I'm going to try it with the aloe sauce. I wasn't expecting that kick, it's like a Tabasco kick. I like it though because I like spicy stuff but if you're not expecting that you may not. <laughs> and we got a very far loop. Gigi's going in for some gator. Tastes like chicken. <laughs> so I'm going to do the same exact thing and I'm going to try one of the gator bites without the sauce first just to see how it tastes. It's very good. We have had gator bites before that was just really chewy. This is not the case. It's tender. It's uh, very easy to eat. Very well seasoned on the batter. And now I'm going to try it with the aioli sauce. I could see this going well with some ranch. But that really overpowers the alligator where you can't really taste it. It's so incredibly hot. I'm just going to eat this by itself. No sauce is needed. And we know Henry would be a fan of the alligator, but he is plum tuckered out. We spent the day at Dollywood today, and he is down for the count. All right, Jennifer, you want to tell us what you got there? Yeah, I got the uh, grilled shrimp platter. You could choose fried or grilled, so I decided to go with grilled. 
and it came with coleslaw and their house made seasoned chips but I wanted to try like some different sides so I went with the red skin potatoes and the uh, smoked gouda and cheddar grits. All right Gentry what'd you get buddy? Chicken fingers with honey mustard and fries. All right and I got the fried group and it came with some coleslaw here and it was also coming with some house made chips uh, but I didn't want to have too much fried stuff since I already had the fried gator as well. So I swapped that out for some Gouda mac and cheese. So these have butter and I'm not sure what else on there. It might be like some Parmesan. They smell really good. Just the red skin potatoes. I'm gonna take a bite of these. <laughs> Those are really good and tender. And then these are the smoked gouda and cheddar cheese grits. Being from the South, love my grits. Those are really good and creamy and cheesy. These are great. And then this came with two skewers of grilled shrimp. I think it has some sort of like a blackening seasoning or a Cajun seasoning. It smells really good too. And shrimp is one of my favorite seafoods. That's really good. It's really tender shrimp and it has a really good seasoning on it. Um, it does taste like it's a little bit of like maybe a Cajun, Cajun or blackening season, but it's not overwhelming. It's really good. Oh, it's really good, and I really like the honey mustard sauce. It's really great. Look how flaky and tender that grouper is. I'm going to try it by itself, and I'll add some tartar sauce. I like adding tartar sauce to anything seafood because I just like tartar sauce. But I don't think I'm going to add a whole lot of tartar sauce to this because it is so exceptionally good by itself. I'm going to try some of the macaroni and cheese. Here we go. It tastes a lot more noodle than I do cheese. There's not a whole lot of cheese going on. I do taste the good of cheese, but it's very light, just a hint of the cheese. I would prefer a little bit more cheese on the macaroni and cheese because, like I said, it's more noodle than anything. It's not the best. All right, here is the final bill. For the Gator Bites, grouper and shrimp platter, kids fried chicken. We got a Pepsi iced tea and a kid's drink. Came out tax and all to 8307. That was Harpoon Harry's here in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Gentry, what are your thoughts on Harpoon Harry's? So, the chicken and the fries were delicious. And our waiter was outstanding and I would definitely recommend going did you enjoy the, Harry's. I'm sorry to interrupt. Did you enjoy the Gator Bites as well? No. <laughs> no? <laughs> I admire your honesty. <laughs> and Jennifer, what are your thoughts on Harpoon Harry's? This is a great family dining restaurant. Um, really good atmosphere. And it's very large. So if you have large parties, you know, a lot of times when you're on vacation, you might be with family and have a large, you know, party to accommodate for supper or lunch or anything. So this is a good place to go. The food was really excellent. It came out hot, came out fast. Uh, the gator bites were really good. They're very comparable to uh, some that Brent and I have had in Tampa, which were, you know, when you're in Florida, seafood is the thing. So that's saying a lot as well. Um, like you said, it didn't really need that sauce on there because it was a standalone by itself. The batter, the tenderness, everything was great and my meal was excellent my shrimp was cooked to perfection it was seasoned very well and my sides were really great also and i did try the sweet tea excellent it was outstanding uh, i enjoyed everything except for the macaroni the macaroni was very subpar it was primarily noodles with just a hint of a gouda cheese and needed a lot more cheese and I think that, you know, given the price here, I, th I think that it's a very fair price given that it is seafood and not only seafood, but it is seafood here in a tourist town. But I think given the price, they could probably put a little bit more cheese on the macaroni and cheese. I will say the grouper nuggets were outstanding, well seasoned, delicious. 
The gator bites were also good. We've had some gator bites in some places. They weren't so, they weren't so great. This place really hit the nail on the head when it came to really good gator bites. One more thing I want to add is the atmosphere is incredible. I'm going to pan the camera over here real quick. You've seen this before if you've been to Pigeon Forge. This is the three-story glass restaurant that you see from the parkway. I love the vibe. I love the fact that you can see all of the parkway and you almost have a panoramic view of the parkway and all of the cool stuff down the strip here in Pigeon Forge. Great, spectacular views. Fletcher, our server, he was on it. We gotta give a shout out to Fletcher. Uh, I, I hope that I've driven home the point that this is a great place to stop at. It's a priced fare, great atmosphere, great service. You gotta come here to Harpoon Harry's. And if you're not already subscribed to this channel, we would be absolutely honored if you would hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you can join us on the next episode of Every Day is Saturday. And one more thing that I have to mention, the music here was amazing. They were playing classic 80s music. Gentry, did you like the 80s music? Too many comments that are just great about this place. Yeah, as you can tell, we really enjoyed Harpoon Harry's.